Hi, everybody. Karen Roby here uh, for Tech Republic. I'm talking today with Melanie Chase. She is the CMO at Next Insurance. Uh, Melanie, uh, you guys put together a really interesting study looking at the, the, the workforce post pandemic. Just give us a couple of highlights. What really stood out to you from that study? Yeah. So at Next, we are an insure tech company that provides insurance to small businesses, right? And we do it fast, we do it affordably, we do it entirely online. And our mission is to help entrepreneurs thrive. So coming out of this pandemic period, we wanted to do a study on how small businesses were feeling, how they were thinking, what they needed in this post-pandemic world. We talked to 500 small business owners and we had some really interesting findings. And one of those findings that stood out was that women in our study were twice as likely to open small businesses during the pandemic than their male counterparts. And we thought this was a really important piece of information. I think all of us have read the disheartening statistics about how many women left the workforce during the pandemic, citing reasons of needing to care for, for their kids, take care of their families, lost wages, lack of flexibility. Um, and I think we've all been wondering sort of what is the long-term impact of these trends? So what we saw in this study of uh, millions of women's overall starting new businesses really gives us a sense of how the economy might be shifting. Um, in 2020, 4.3 million Americans started new businesses. This was a record year for new business registrations in the United States. And if we think about that in terms of how many of those new businesses are coming from women, um, we can imagine a world where maybe the access to a flexible work-life balance um, can come from the individual themselves, can come from women who want to create their own path forward. And I think that's the silver lining here, Melanie, is uh, it's actually the opposite of what you think it would be, I, I think, following a, a pandemic. Uh, but it sounds like just women saying, okay, this is my time, this is my opportunity to uh, you know, possibly put together a, a better work-life balance. Yeah, I think when we ask people why they started small businesses, you know, the number one reason is always to follow a passion or to be my own box. But what we did see was that women were four times more likely to say flexibility was the number one reason that they wanted to start their own business. And Melanie, when you guys did this study, did you look at a specific uh, industries uh, heavily weighted in tech, I would assume? So we did look um, at what types of businesses were being started. And, and when we looked across men and women, there were a lot of similarities. There was a lot of professional services businesses starting, a lot of retail and e-commerce, some childcare and education businesses being started. But what we found among women is that they were very digitally focused. Um, they also often tended to start their businesses alone. Um, so 57% of women started their businesses as solo entrepreneurs, whereas 42% of men started their businesses solo. Um, women were also more likely to start from scratch. We saw men buying into businesses, for example. Um, so we do see differences in the way that men and women are starting out. Um, and, and we think that that digital focus and focus on flexibility um, might be part of that story. I think that's so interesting, uh, you know, Melanie, that it was more women decided to, to do this alone and, and start their own company uh, versus men. So when you look at the future, say six to, to nine months down the road, how does this information change the way you see uh, things will be going from here? Well, I think this access to starting your own business has really opened up. Um, what we see is also a generational trend. So if we look at baby boomers and Gen X, um, a lot of these folks shifted into digital as part of the pandemic. Um, and whereas Gen Z and millennials were starting digital first businesses. But this was a sort of a generational snapshot. And I think as we look forward, a lot of businesses are gonna be starting digitally. A lot more folks are gonna be starting um, from an e-commerce perspective. They're gonna be focusing on building their brand online um, as one of their first apps. That's what we saw amongst Gen Z and millennials. The first thing they do is think about building their brand, building that brand online. Um, and so I think this does change the access. I think it also changes the way that people are gonna be thinking about 
what a workday might look like for the long term. This idea of being your own boss is a major inspiration for small business owners to get started. What it means is I can shape my life the way I want it to, to look. I can, can follow my passions and I can spend my time the way I think I need to spend it. Um, and we think this is going to become more and more an expectation of, of uh, people who work in, in the United States. Yeah, that's some uh, good news, uh, especially for women, Melanie. I think that can be the silver lining that we can that we can look for going forward. All right, Melanie Chase again with Next Insurance. Thanks so much for being with me. Uh, and for much more on this study and uh, some of those figures that Melanie was talking about, that can all be found on our website uh, attached to this story. Uh, we have a link there, also a link there to a checklist uh, that Next Insurance put together to help people in that first year, things that they need to be uh, taking advantage of, some resources there. So make sure you check all of that out again on Tech Republic. Thanks for watching.